this video is for Severin. It's their tier four Patreon request. We're doing music from Made in Abyss. I feel like I've only done three pieces from the series on here. And uh, I learned very quickly that Kevin Pankin is a very special composer. I feel like it's such a high-end listening experience when you listen to music of his. And uh, I also learned very quickly by reading the comments on the videos that the fans of Made in Abyss also have discovered that. There's a, there's a lot of appreciation for his work. So that's cool. This piece is called Segur. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but it's a Kevin piece. I'm very excited. Let's go. Hmm. Interesting. We'll get into this beautiful sounding melody in a second here. The introduction, I think we need to talk about it because it's it's pretty unique sounding. That that's, It kind of comes out of nowhere and has such a piercing dynamic when it gets there because it feels like vibes. Vibes, that kind of mallet percussion is so loud. But the other mix, hold on. Let me just listen to it one more time real quick. I love this crescendo out of nowhere. Yeah, it kind of has that, um, we are just actually talking about this in a Twitch stream. When you play, you have a glass and you play on the edge, you go in a circle and you get the vibration of like there's water in the glass and it kind of has that sound. We have like forward versions, backward versions. It, it obviously, it sounds like mallet percussion and just such a vibraphone sound, but it, it's probably created digitally. I don't know, but it just gives you that feel. And obviously supporting the piano line on top of it. But we have all these staggered, like nothing is symmetrical. There's like random entrances. You have forward sounds, you have backward sounds, and it just creates this very weird. And I don't know where this is from in the series or what's going on, but it, it's just a very uncertain foundation over a beautiful piano melody in the top. So you have, you have kind of a lot of uh, um, contradicting sounds here. I'm going to go back one more time and then we'll let it go into this melody that's going to about to come up here. Oh, that's so cool. It's like, it's like falling against each other. All right, here we go. Hmm. Well, that's interesting, man. We go from such a kind of rickety foundation to straight up. It sounds like Guns N' Roses. Don't you cry tonight. Remember that song way back? I think that's even a cover too. It has like this ballad feel to it. It's very, very gorgeous. Arpeggiations going on. And then the flute comes in. It kind of has that like kind of pan flute feel or traditional flute sound. Beautiful breathy tone on it. And then da -do 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 -do, all the staccato stuff happening. And it just, it doesn't mirror the beginning at all. And I love it for that. That is outstanding. We're at, we're at a minute eight. The piece is only three minutes and 33 seconds long. And, you know, you know me, I like to go back several times. Let's just go back a good chunk here. Let's just go back a significant amount and just kind of get into that phrase change again to that staccato section. Big open legato. What a shift. Harmonically still there, though. Where do we go now? Interesting. You can hear some oboe, bassoon. And then we have our woodwind feature here. Oh, this is great. Wow. I really dig the uh, rhythmic pattern shift into the three note groupings. I feel that's 124. Let's go back to 10. 
I feel like the shift happens at 103. Let's do like one minute even and see where this goes again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, ba da 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 What a, that's a nice little, just a grouping change. It just pushes the meter in a different direction. But we, it, it obviously is still one, two, three, four. We, it, it's kind of like kind of a, it's just a slow jam still. It really does have that ballad feel to it. So we're not actually changing the meter. We're just grouping. It's just, it's 16 notes with the, the accent is every three notes. So, but it's just a little effect that it gives off, gives off. All right. Back a couple seconds. And now we're going to feature woodwinds more and Oh God. Woo! Oh, oboe playing so beautiful. Boom, 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 boom. It, it really does have that pop ballad feel to it, but it's good though, because the oboe on top of that takes it. We, we still have such a classical element to it, having a woodwind feature be soaring above that. But I love the little turnaround and string based rhythm. I'm going to go back 10 seconds just so we can appreciate that little groove turnaround. Here it comes. chills man where are we going we come out of that <laughs> this is so cool kevin is <laughs> so good we come out of that everything falls to the floor not like there was a huge dynamic in the first place we it's it's not like piercing kind of like the beginning was when we talked about the vibraphone etc and we just break down to this single kind of digital synth patch sound and it almost turns time around on itself we had a little bit of vibrato not vibrato uh reverb there and i mean you can hear this rhythm obviously is very in your brain because it's like piercing, not piercing loud. It's just there. It's so obvious. But then you add a little bit of reverb and we start to turn the beat around a little bit. And you're like, where is this going to go? And then it goes to what sounds like some clean, clean tone guitar. And we'll see. There are sounds from the beginning. Wow. Bookend design. Love it. Wow, what a go that was absolutely gorgeous. That for me feels different than anything we've listened to from Kevin that we featured. I feel like this is the fourth song and I really appreciate the variety and that was just, man, 
Absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. We're getting very close to hitting 200,000 subscribers on the channel. Can you help me hit that goal if you haven't subscribed yet? Please and thank you. Click that button. Like the video if you liked it. Click the dislike button if you did not like it. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Please and thank you. Have a great day. I appreciate you being here. Take it easy. Bye-bye.